This is Gam Gam here, and I have another story I want to read to you. This is a Let's Read and Find Out science book. What makes day and night? And this was written by Franklin M. Branley, and it was illustrated by Arthur Doris. What makes day and night? Looks like it might be morning time there. Oh, and all kinds of information. What makes day and night? Look at the little kitty sitting up in the tree. Yeah. Here's a happy little town. Groceries. That's someplace we would go in the daytime. And look at the kids out playing. We all live on the earth. The earth is our planet. It is a round like big is round like a big ball. And it is spinning. Kind of like spinning a ball on your finger. Have you ever tried to do that? I know I'm not very good at that part. But there's, if you were looking at Earth from outer space, that might be kind of what it looks like. Big, round, blue ball. See the children going down the street? It's hard to believe the Earth is always turning because we don't feel any motion. That's because the Earth spins smoothly always spinning at the same speed. Look at here, the globe turning around because the kids are spinning it. Oh, this is what a satellite picture of our Earth would look like actually taken from outer space. This is a photograph of the Earth. It was taken by a camera aboard the Apollo 17 spaceship you can see that the earth is round. See, this is some kids looking at the same picture. Try not to skip any pages. It looks like a rocket. If you were way out in space and watching the earth, you would see it spin. The earth spins around once in a 24 hour period. Lights from the sun fall on one half of the spinning earth. The half of the light has day. The other half has night. It is in the earth's shadow. The part with the darkness is the nighttime. As the earth spins, we move through the light into the darkness and back again. And we have day and night. See the part of the earth that's facing the sun has light and the other part is in darkness and they have nighttime. Imagine you are in a spaceship high above the North Pole. Imagine you can stay there 24 hours and watch the earth make one complete turn. So you're up here on the North Pole standing there watching the earth go all the way around one time in 24 hours so these kids are imagining that what if they were there sitting at the north pole someplace nice and warm watching the earth spin around one whole time in 24 hours oh what's this as the earth turns we have sunrise daylight and sunset people at Point A, where's point A? That's up here on the top. They have sunlight. Later, because the Earth, B, is turning, they are now at B. It is the middle of the day for them. It is noontime, lunchtime. As the Earth turns, it carries them around to C. They have sunset. By the time 
they reach D, which is all the way over here, it is the middle of the night for them. It is midnight. At the end of the 24 hours, they have sunrise again. That's always nice after the middle of the night to have the sun come up again. You can see how we move from daylight to darkness. By doing the experiment, you will be the earth and the lamp will be the sun. Okay, so here's how you do it. Here's a lamp and here's you. And this is the side of the earth you're on facing the sun. Okay. Stand so that your left side is towards the lamp. Hold your arms all out all the way. Your left hand points towards the lamp. This is sunrise. So there you are at sunrise. The left side of your body is all in the light. Stay in the same spot. Keep your arms out from your sides and turn to your left. Now the lamp it is completely in front of you. So see, it was on the side, but now it's in front of you, shining right in your face. This is the middle of the day. It's noontime. Now keep turning until your right hand points towards the lamp. So here's your right hand now pointing towards the lamp. You're turning away from the light. It is now sunset. And then if you keep turning until your back is towards the lamp, it is now nighttime. But your back is in daytime and the front of you is in nighttime. Half of you is always in the light and half is in the dark. It's the same way with the earth. When we have night here, they have day on the other side of the earth. The earth is always turning. It never stops. Round and round it goes, and it goes very fast, about 1,000 miles an hour. As the earth turns, we are always moving from day to night and from night to day. You can see this happen. If you are awake very early, you can see the sunrise. The earth is moving you towards the sun. You wake up very early and you look out the window you can see the sun coming up in the east so good morning time to wake up isn't that beautiful all of the bright colors and everybody's so happy to see a new day beginning the earth keeps turning later in the day we begin to turn away from the sun you can see the sunset. About 24 hours after sunrise, the sun will rise again. About 24 hours after, yeah, after sunrise, the sun will rise again. It all happens because the earth is spinning around. So as the earth turns, the sun seems to move across the sky. So there it's coming up. That's high noon. And there it goes back down at sunset. Oh, well, what are we saying here? The moon is a pretty interesting place. But two weeks of night? Oh, dear. If you were on the moon, you would also have day and night. But the moon spins very slowly. So days and nights are long. Places on the moon have two weeks of daylight and then two weeks of darkness. Imagine that, taking a whole two weeks to go all the way around. That's 14 days. During one night on the moon, the earth spins around 14 times. The turning earth gives us about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. 
that seems just about right for all of us on the planet Earth. Lots of time to play in the sun. Running our bikes, skateboarding, running, playing with our cat, maybe flying a kite. And that's all there is to that story. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a great day and you get a good night's sleep. Thank you.